hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Laura and today I'm going to be sharing with you another Timu haul it seemed like you guys really liked the last one I was pleasantly surprised this is not sponsored I'm not affiliated with Timu I get nothing from them for sharing these hauls with you. Similar to last time, most of these things are for my children. I have two kids that have birthdays in May and one kiddo with a birthday in July. So all the birthday activities and preparations getting ready right now compared to some other online shopping like Amazon or Walmart or Target where it's a pretty like fast usually like a one to two day delivery window. It does take a little while for Timu items to get here. So I always like to order ahead when I order from them. But first up, I don't even know why I ordered these. I think I thought that it was going to be a lot more than what I was getting. These are like just little sticky post-it notes and they come in different colors. Highly likely that I just didn't read the fine print, but I thought there was going to be more than these. I like to use like a Kanban like board for productivity for work and I use like color coded sticky notes when I do that for all my different like to do tasks and projects and things that I'm working on keep everything organized and make sure that I'm staying productive when I'm working anyway I would have been better off I think just buying post-it notes from like Walmart or Target or basically anywhere else <laughs> I really don't think those were the best deal, but I do like this little magnet that we've been using. We've been using this ever since I got it, which was a few weeks ago. It's like one of those dirty on one side, clean on the other side, very strong magnetic hold. I think it looks really cute. I feel like I got exactly what I ordered. It's been really helpful so I don't have to like text Mark like, did you run the dishwasher last night when we just can flip this and know that yes they're clean or dirty the next thing i ordered this was super cheap and i got this for ben's birthday it's just like a little smart watch my mom had one of these that was my dad's and it was broken but he was like interested in it um i think he likes the idea of it being able to like tell time and tell him how many steps he's walked throughout the day which is kind of cool but i haven't opened this up and tested it yet i'll leave a comment um after i do have a chance to open it and try it out and let you know if it worked or if it didn't for some of these things because like i said since they're gifts i don't really want to open them these i have not opened either these are the tinkle eyebrow razors so i actually use these um that I usually get from Amazon and it was cheaper to get them on Timu, but I don't know that these work as good. They look exactly the same. I use these to shape my eyebrows, but I also like just use it to scrape all the little peach fuzz like off my whole face because I feel like it helps my makeup lay better. So this thing I was really excited for, but I'm very <sighs> skeptical if this is actually going to work or not. I can go ahead and put a battery in this and, and let you know if this works or not. So it just looks like it takes like two AA batteries, which I believe we have. So I can test this out. I haven't yet. But the idea is that it's supposed to be like a mini like ceiling. The box was pretty like beat up looking. This is how it looked when it arrived. Like, I don't know if you can really tell. It's supposed to be like a resealing tool. So like after you open like a bag of chips or something, for example, or a bag of cereal, you can reseal it, supposedly. <laughs> um, it has like a magnet on the back of it so you can stick it on the fridge which was really handy. I really like the idea of this. I'm just skeptical if it's gonna work. So let's go test it out. All right, we're gonna give this a try. Take the back off. It just says 1.5 volt batteries. I think that's what AA is. I don't know, we're gonna give it a try. It looks like that's the size. Okay. I mean, that feels like it's the right size. Although, Nothing is happening. <laughs> hmm. Maybe that's not the right battery. Yeah, it says, okay, so it says on the side, 1.5V is a AA battery. So this is definitely the right size. And I've got them in there the way that it's supposed to be facing. But absolutely nothing is happening. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing is happening. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I just saw like steam come out of this thing. <gasps> Look, it is. Can you see that in there? Let's see. It's like smoking. Oh my God. Okay. 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 
So, ooh, it stinks. Okay, something is definitely happening. Let's give this a try. I have a pack of leftover jelly beans from Easter. So, I'm going to open this up. Ah! Okay. Rip the bag open like my kids do for chips and cereal <laughs> and everything else that they open. Let's see. I'm kind of scared to use this. Basically, you're like melting plastic is what you're doing. I'm not even sure how to do this. I'm just gonna try to do the end here. How do you do it? Like, I guess you hold it and then swipe. Did that work? <gasps> oh my God, it worked. So, hold on. Okay, so you hold it and swipe. And I guess what it's, yeah, it's like warm. It's melting the plastic back together is what this is doing. Let's see. Man, I really ripped the heck out of this bag, but. All right, let's test it. I am shocked. I'm shocked. It works. That is fantastic. Be careful because your kids could catch the house on fire, but that's a really cool product actually to have. I'm gonna put it back here in the corner so the kids don't even know that it's there, but the magnet piece works really well too. This next product we're gonna open and test out too. This is a super clean, like cleaning compound. It looks and feels in the package like kind of like a gel or like a slime. It looks like kind of like a slime putty in the packaging like image. So you're supposed to be able to clean things like your keyboard. I think on like the Timu app, it even showed photos of people like cleaning their car with it. It shows cleaning like other like electronic devices, your hair dryer, like the lint out of the the back of your hair dryer and things like that with this. So I have some old keyboards that the kids don't really use anymore. I don't know if they're broken or what, but I know they don't really use them. So we're gonna test it on, on that first before I try it on things like my car. If that so I actually started recording and then realized that the memory was full, but I opened up the cleaning compound. It looks like slime that our kids would play with, but it's not sticky like to my hands at all. Um, and this is like an old keyboard of the boys that they don't use anymore. It's not super dirty, like not like chunks of dirt, but it is really dusty. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the video very well or not. I'm gonna try to zoom in. But since this is my second try filming this, I can tell you that it is picking up the dust pretty cleanly, even like between the keys and it's not sticking to the keyboard at all. Like I'm pushing it really hard down in there. <laughs> Um, so you can really get like all the dust from between the keys and it's coming out really clean. I definitely think I'm going to use this on my car. That's going to be really helpful for like all the little um, parts of the car like in between the seats and stuff like that. That's really cool too. The next item came in another like beat up looking package like this, but I have been using these for the past couple months. In fact, they're probably a little bit smudged and dirty because I wear them pretty much every day and I have been loving these. These were a pair of sunglasses that were so cheap, you guys. I think they were only like $2 at the time that I bought them. They were on one of those like lightning deals that Timu does a lot. They're really easy to clean. They haven't gotten like scraped or sm um, scratched or anything. Like they've held up really well. I really like the look of them and for the price for just a couple dollars, you can't beat it. The next thing was this huge pack of beauty blenders. How many did this come with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here. And then I have one that I've already been using. So eight total. Again, this was really affordable. I have been using one of these for a couple of weeks now. It has held up really well. It works just as well as any beauty blender that I've ever used. I've never purchased like the actual beauty blender 
brand, if that's even what it's called. But that being said, it works better than any like knockoff that I've ever used. And I like that it has like the angled, you know, side that works really well for like patting down like under your eyes. Nothing bad to say about those whatsoever. Totally think that they're worth the price as well. This next thing I got as a gift for Mark, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up though because like it's not gonna be like for any holiday or anniversary or anything like in particular. It was just like a cheap little keychain that I saw on there that I thought would be really cute. So see if you guys know the reference. I guarantee he will, but it's got a little cute little tiny jellyfish on there. And then the quote says, if you were stung by a jellyfish, I would totally pee on you. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that means, um, it is from Friends. It's a, a reference from a Friends episode, but we that's a show that we've watched together many, many times, and so I know he'll get the reference. They have tons of fun little like gimmicky gifts like that on the TV app. I think a lot of the rest of this is for the kids. So this first thing is a pack of stickers. If your kids like these little like stickers for like their water bottles or notebooks or like decorating all their little things. Timu is a great place to find these. There are so many like different themes that they have. These are all like Pokemon themes. They all look really high quality. These are gonna be for like his party favor bags, but look at the quality of these. They're so cute. And he knew all of these characters. I don't know how well everybody else knows Pokemon, but he knows the name of everybody. I think that's Psyduck, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know him nearly as well as he does. It's just, is this Growlithe-y or Growlithe, however you say his name. But these are all really cute. He was very happy with these and super excited about them. Here's Squirtle. A lot of people know that guy or at least recognize him if you know anything about Pokemon. And here's the Pikachu. He's like a fat little Pikachu holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the stickers are a pretty safe bet. Michaela got a couple packs of stickers for her birthday too that were cow themed. And there were a couple in there that were a little weird and questionable. If you guys were there for that, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I would say in overall, the stickers are a good safe bet from Timu. Another thing that I've been pleasantly surprised about is the quality of like stuffed animals that I've bought from Timu. He's really been into Sonic lately and playing Sonic with the girls. So I got him this cute little Sonic plushie. The tag is in another language. I'm not sure which language that is. Um, it does have like the little suction cup thing on the top of this, but you can easily just trim that off if you just want it to be more of like a plushie and I guarantee he's never even gonna know the difference. But other than that, I think the quality is really cute on him. I also got him a tails. You can see he's got the tails on the back there. Similar size to the Sonic doll and just as good of quality. As well as a knuckles. So he's got his like, you know, furrowed eyebrows <laughs> there. Very cute. All three of these, I think combined were like 13 or $14 for three little stuffed animal plushies that he is going to love. This was another really good item for the price. This is like a set of DIY slime kits. I thought this would be a fun party favor for Lexi's birthday. It comes with lots of these little slime packages. They're all like individually packaged. I think they're scented too. I don't want to open them up before it's time for her party, but they also came with like all these little charms and some little like foam beads that you can do as like add-ins to the slime, some little sprinkles. And then these are like some cute little like fruit slice sprinkle pieces. Very cute. And so I thought that would be fun to have like a little slime station. They could add like a little charm or some little sprinkles into their slime if they wanted to. And then these could be like their party favors you know, part of the things that they get to take home for the birthday party. This little guy I got for Paisley, it's kind of like a Squishmallow. Like it's really soft like Squishmallows are. It's not exactly like one, but I thought this was really cute because she loves Squishmallows and she also has a black cat. We have a couple of black cats here, but she really loves her black cat that she has at her mom's. And so I thought this would remind her of that. She loves all her little plushies, especially like her really soft ones like these. Then I got an outfit for Paisley. This is super cute. Clearly it's like a Victoria's Secret knockoff because it says pink and it's kind of got like that pink font like they have, but it's just like a black t-shirt. And I will say this had a, a women's small. It seems a little bit on the big size. Like this seems like it would fit me. Actually, I guarantee that this would fit me. And 
I am not a small typically. I'm at least a medium. So I will say that like this one in particular runs a little bit on the larger side. Hopefully it'll still fit her okay. And then it comes with a matching pair of bike shorts which I thought were super cute. If nothing else, like if it's a little bit baggy on her, she can just wear it like lounging around the house because that's not really gonna matter. Really cute little set. I would just say that it runs just a slight, maybe like a size big, if you're thinking about sizing for something like this. This is another pack of stickers that I got for Paisley's birthday party, and these are Squishmallow stickers. It actually came with like this pouch here, and a second pouch here. So it came with a ton of stickers. What I might do, since it came in like two separate packs and there's so many, is I might give like a small pout pack to her or let her pick out her favorites and then give the other ones as like little party favors. But these are really, really cute. These are more of like a matte kind of, instead of like the high gloss, like the Pokemon ones, these are more like matte stickers, but very, very cute. Very Squishmallow-ish with like their round little bodies and cute little faces. Oh my gosh, look at the bee one. I love bees. Obsessed. I want her to give me that one. <laughs> look at this one with like a little teddy bear with a tie. And these were super cheap, you guys. Like I want to say these were only just a couple dollars, maybe three, four dollars tops. So this will easily be enough stickers that she can give each of her friends like two or three in a party favor bag depending on how many kiddos are going to come and then have plenty left over for herself too. This next thing I was a little bit disappointed in. I was just a little surprised. Um, I thought this was going to be way bigger than it was. This is supposed to be like hair chalk. I mean I guess as long as it works that's fine but it's just like I thought the holder piece was going to be a little bit bigger than that but I mean as long as it still colors her hair this is going to be for Paisley. I thought she would maybe want to do her hair pink in the summertime. They go to Catholic school so during the school year they can't do any kind of like fun coloring to their hair. They can't like paint their nails so we like to let them do that kind of stuff during the summertime but this hair chalk is stuff that should just wash out like after one use type of thing so I thought that would be fun. I just thought it was going to way bigger than it is but I guess if it works that's all that really matters. So I almost threw this away. I forgot that these glasses came with a little cleaning cloth in the box that it came in too which actually these this works really well for like cleaning all the smudges off of the glasses. I need to stick this in my purse because this is really handy. I forgot that those came with that. I just wanted to share that too. Next I have this pack of like molding clay or like dry what do you call that like air dry molding clay, modeling clay. I don't know, it's called super light clay. <laughs> anyway, he's been really into using like modeling clay. We got some from Dollar Tree and he has used it all up. He loves making like little figurines and characters with it and then like making little like mini movies with them on my phone. And so I got him this pack from Timu. We're gonna give this a try. It was way cheaper than any of like the modeling clay sets that I found on Amazon, especially for the amount that you get in this set. And it does come with like a few little tools here with the clay, but I also got him um, like another set of these little tools that you can use for sculpting and making things out of clay. So that'll be a really fun birthday gift for him. The next thing I got is another little smartwatch. Again, this was like super cheap. So I'm a little bit skeptical on this one, if this one's going to work or not, because this one is just like in this little plastic case. I feel like maybe I can open it up and give it a try. Oh, look, it's already turning on. So it's like blinking. It doesn't come with like any instructions or anything. So I'm going to have to figure out like how that works but it does seem like it comes on like when you press it down here so I'm gonna have to figure out like how to set the date and the time because those are not correct and the way that it fits on your wrist it's got like kind of like a silicone type of band but I ordered this for Paisley um I thought that if Ben had a little smartwatch like that she might want one too anyway it fits my wrist nicely it's got plenty of you know, space to make extra adjustments. So I think this would fit a child's wrist pretty easily. Again, this was only a couple dollars. So even if all it does is tell time accurately for her, that would be really nice to have. This next piece is like clothing that I got for Lexi. I will back up a little bit so I can show you. It's a romper. I will say this looks a little on the smaller side. I mean, she's not huge by any means. 
but I'm worried that this is maybe going to be a little too small for her. I don't know. We'll have to see. It is short, so it doesn't really need to be that long, I guess. But I like, I like the style of this for sure. It feels very soft. So as long as the fit is okay, this will look really cute on her. It does have like little pockets even. So I thought that was adorable for summertime for Lexi. This t-shirt feels just like the one that I got her for Easter, which is like super soft, almost like an athletic feel, like the type of feel for like leggings. But I love the pattern on this. I thought it was so cool. I think she's gonna love this. And the colors, like her school colors are red and black. So she really likes those colors. And then with like the cheetah print mixed in there. And then on the back, it's got like all the different patterns kind of like mixed together, which I thought was really cool. And again, the feel of it is very soft. Now this one, I will say, like all these I ordered like in her like eight to 10 size range. This one looks a little bit big to me. <laughs> so I don't know, I guess the sizing on Timu is probably pretty hit or miss. This is another thing I got for Lexi. This is a sleep shirt. It's just like a long sleep t-shirt. Again, this looks pretty long, but I think it'll be a pretty good size for her. This one looks pretty true to size for like that size eight to 10 range. It says, let me sleep. It's got like the little sleepy eyes on there. And then these next two things I got to go together as like a little outfit. They did not come together, but I just thought they would work well with like the coloring. These are size eight shorts. These are like the paper bag waist. They have like the little tie belt too. You can either wear it with or without that. I think the quality on lo this looks pretty good. I don't think the shorts have pockets, but does that really matter to an almost seven year old? Probably not. And then the t-shirt that I picked to go with those shorts is just this one. She is like a little bit odd. She really likes like Wednesday Adams and like some of that like darker stuff. So I thought these kind of looked like a little spooky, like kind of creepy looking smiley faces that they look like they're melting at the bottom of them. But I thought the colors would go really well with these shorts because they these shorts have like kind of that same like beige color of the t-shirt and then the t-shirt has some like the brighter pastel colors. So I think the coloring is going to go really well. It's a cute little summer outfit for her. And that is everything for this Timu haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, found some things that maybe inspired you or that you're interested in. If you are, I will leave as many of the links that I can for these things in the description box down below. But just know that sometimes with Timu, whenever I go back, like even if it's been just really recently, like some of this I just got in the mail over the weekend, but it may all already be like not available to order from Timo anymore. You can probably still find something similar even if it's not the exact same item that I ordered. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there that if you don't see a link for it, it's because it just wasn't available already. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. I appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you want to see more from us. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.